All right, guys. Um, the last step I want to talk about is the webinar replay room. So I know it looks like this step is at the very end and it looks like it comes after the order confirmation, but technically it doesn't. It just looks like that the way it's set up here. Technically, the webinar replay room would replace the webinar broadcast room. So you can almost think of this step as being right here. Right, and it makes sense because after someone signs up for your webinar registration, goes through step one, then they get the confirmation on step two, they have to join the webinar broadcast room when they get the email reminders. If they get the email reminders and they don't join the webinar broadcast room, ClickFunnels will kind of capture this. They will, ClickFunnels, the platform will know who does not make it to the broadcast room. And you can set up automated emails that are sent only to those who miss the webinar broadcast room and those emails you can set up you know two or three emails letting them know hey you know I, I think we missed you in the um, webinar you know you missed a lot of valuable information but don't worry we happen to have a limited time um, webinar replay um, you can access it by clicking this link right you can do a couple emails like that and then they will click that link and that link will bring them straight to the webinar replay room which is very similar to the webinar broadcast room and I'm gonna go through that right now and if they watch that webinar replay remember the webinar replay is supposed to be a replay so you don't wanna make it seem like a live webinar right because it's a replay um, and they will again see the offer at some point during that webinar and if they click that offer it will bring them to this page which is the order form and then after they make the order, it'll go to the order confirmation. So basically, this step is replacing this step. That's all that's happening. So if I click edit page, it'll bring me here. So as you can imagine, this page looks very much like webinar broadcast room. You'll notice the first difference is it says limited time replay, right? You're letting them know it's a replay. You're letting them know it's a limited time. That means you're going to remove this replay. So that creates a sense of urgency. Even says limited time replay at the top. You can even put a countdown timer so you know you could set this to an arbitrary time like 24 hours and in the email you could say you have 24 hours to watch this replay or 72 hours and this will start counting down immediately when they get to this room. Um, you'll also notice that above and below the replay there's not those GIFs or animated pictures that we talked about earlier because again this is meant to be a replay, it shouldn't look like it's live, right? So you remove those two elements. Uh, and then you would put the pre-recording right here. And again, this entire section at the bottom will populate when you make the offer in the webinar. This entire section is set on a timer, and that timer just happens to be invisible at the moment because I made it invisible. So I go to Manage Elements, and I look down here. All these are visible, right? It says the I mean it's visible. If I go down, you'll notice that there's one that's invisible, right? Let me make it invisible. Let me make it visible real quick so you can see it. You'll notice, and it doesn't matter where this timer is on the page because no one can see it anyways. Um, and this timer happens to be right here. And this entire section of all the elements in this section right here, where the offer is offered, or where the offer is provided, is going to be set to this timer. So if I go to the settings for this timer, you're going to see that. At a certain amount of time, which I set right here, hours, minutes, seconds, you can hide things and you can show things. Right now, under hide things, there's nothing because I don't want to hide anything um, at a certain amount of time. I want to show the offer, which is this entire section here. So I'll click this. And here will be a list of all the elements and sections from this entire page. And all you have to do is click this section right here, right? This section coincides with this offer section here. So this entire offer section will show at whatever time you specify. Right now it says four seconds, but let me show you for example, I'll do four seconds for just as an example, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna click that and then I'm gonna click preview, watch this. Uh, and after four seconds, boom, something pops up, right? That's how it happens. Usually this wouldn't say YouTube, it would have your video in here. Um, this is just what you put if you all you have is a YouTube video. Um, ideally, you would host your video on a you know a paid platform like Vimeo, and it wouldn't say YouTube at the bottom because if you do it like this after they finish watching the webinar, which is actually a YouTube video, it will show some other recommended YouTube videos, which is not a good thing. So if you use Vimeo though, it'll just be a solid MP4 uh, video, and that is how it is done, guys. Um, that is how the auto replay section is done, and then if they click this offer. It will go straight to the order form page, and then if they if they buy it, 
they'll go they'll go to the order confirmation page. All right. See you on the next video.